Mm. Hi, I'm Rob Dom, and if I was an engine, this would be a pretty tasty treat. Warm it up, maybe 160, 180 degrees Fahrenheit, and I would be enjoying this very much. That said, you get it over 300 degrees like I have in my engine, and it starts to look like this. While I might be an extreme case creating all this heat on a rotary engine, the, the same thing applies to modern cars. While I might be drag racing start to finish in a half mile, everybody else is still doing it from stoplight to stoplight. So extreme driving conditions exist even in modern passenger vehicles. Thankfully, the engineers over at Valvoline's Engine Lab taught me a lot about how heat affects your engine oil and what sort of effects it has immediately and long term. So this is the heat test? Yeah, yeah, if you want a heat test, this is the big daddy heat test right here. Yeah, this is a uh, 3.6 liter Chrysler engine. Uh, runs for 90 hours, and it's at, all the time at high, high speed, high load. What that results in is high temp. So yeah, yeah, if you're looking for a high temp test, this is the one. And wh what does temperature do to motor oil? So the big thing about temperature is it, it creates piston deposits, but it also, at the same time, causes your oil to oxidize, which increases its viscosity. So if you increase your oil viscosity too much, you can start to starve your bearings, starve your cylinder head of oil, and then you're just gonna increase the wear. Oh, that's really fascinating, because for me, as a person who, when I change my oil, when it's warm, it feels thinner, but you're saying that when it gets too hot, it gets thicker? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. As oil ages and, and it's uh, subjected to that high heat, it starts to break down and your oil does thicken, yeah. Wow, and then how does Valvoline handle that? Well, I mean, we start by just using the highest quality base oils, and then we just go from there. We build up, we add, you know, have our anti-wear ad packages. We uh, use the really high quality viscosity modifiers, um, and that's really what lets us start with a certain viscosity of oil and end at that same viscosity of oil. So, I mean, over the entire time that you would have oil in your engine, it's gonna only increase by less than 10%. And that's, that's where we get, you know, 10 times better wear protection from heat breakdown. This type of test is something that is very critical for engines that I run because I get them really hot. I used to think that getting motor oil hot was just a temporary issue. I didn't realize that it actually had lasting effects on the quality of your oil as you went past that heat barrier and then come back down. I didn't know that that would actually hurt the oil long term. So this is really fascinating and eye-opening to me. I'm not the only person who's making these small engines create a lot of heat and as a result put more heat into your oil. All engines are getting smaller and more power dense and with that comes higher temperatures. So not just the person towing cars across the desert, but even the person like me with a lead foot in stop and go traffic, all of those engines are experiencing way more heat.